The American Red Cross launches a new push to get more blood donations. They say that blood supply has dropped to the lowest post-summer level in more than five years. Priya Mann shows us organizers here in Michigan are calling on everyone to do their part. Just in time for the season, this blood clinic is aptly called a vampire's lair, but there is nothing to fear. The process takes about an hour and one donation can save up to three lives. Make a fence. We're in an emergency blood shortage, so it's really critical that anyone that can donate blood comes out. A national shortage has caused blood supplies to drop to its lowest level in six years. People need it every day. Every two seconds, someone needs a blood transfusion. Jim Finzel started donating after his wife was hospitalized with COVID. She used a lot of blood products in the hospital, so I kind of want to pay it forward. The Red Cross is now at a critical juncture. 10,000 additional blood products are needed each week this month to meet hospital and patient needs. And the pandemic has impacted how many are willing to donate. With the um, Delta variant, we believe that's impacted people coming out. Um, and it, we want people to know it's very safe to come out and give blood. We follow all the CDC guidelines here, and it only takes about an hour. October happens to be Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Nearly a quarter of the blood supply is used for cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy, surgery, or treatment. I uh, lost a niece to uh, cancer some time ago, and uh, it's been sort of my goal to give back as much as I can. Hoping to shore up supply, the Red Cross is holding blood drives across Metro Detroit for the next two weeks. It doesn't hurt. It's not costing you anything other than time. I'm right here watching movies. I don't even know that I'm giving blood at the moment. What you're giving back is, is worth anything that you can endure. In Livonia, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.